Hi, I'm David Sun. Uh, I'm a summer intern here at ZeroX. Um, I study at the University of Michigan as a computer science student there. I also uh, work on, on the executive board for uh, Wolverine Blockchain. Honest to God, um, I, I'm a poor college student and I wanted to make some money freelancing. Uh, so I took on a client project at the time who, that required me to build a kind of like a, an exchange interface similar to Binance, similar to Coinbase Pro. So at that time, I really barely understood anything about blockchain, but since it paid my rent, it paid my bills, I started working on that project. Um, and that really was a catalyst of going down the rabbit hole. When I was building this, this freelance project, I was first aware of probably Bitcoin, but then actually it was for Xerox because they were, you know, as a DEX protocol, it was one of the first things I had to look at to specifically understand what a relayer was. And that was actually before I understood what Ethereum was. So that was kind of counterintuitive. Um, so there was a lot of confusing things in the white paper when I read it the first time. But uh, eventually I started wanting to do smart contract development or, or really build uh, natively stuff with the blockchain. And there was not a lot of other developer ecosystems that I thought were very conducive as, as, or as opening as the Ethereum community really is. So I thought it was easy to get in. Um, the resources were available. The developers uh, were very open to, to us as, as, uh, as uh, beginners and really help us out along the way. So it was probably the most like, welcoming community to join. I think just due to the state of the industry, there's not a lot of places for students to full-time. I think part-time is a different story. Um, and so for full-time, I specifically wanted work in the greater open finance ecosystem. Um, and there's not, just not a lot of organizations within the space. And uh, I didn't want to go to a very large organization like Consensus or, or Coinbase. I really wanted something more grassroots and more hands-on. And I thought the sweet spot really was zero X for an organization of that size, of that culture. Um, and also it was the first, one of the first projects I was really uh, following. So it was something that I saw them grow and I saw in good faith that this organization was not very scammy. Uh, they were doing stuff honestly. The blogs were very awesome. Like this was one of the main orgs that got me in this space. So for me, it was honestly like in my mind, one of the dream orgs that I thought could join. And then I was very lucky, honest to God, that. I realized you guys had internships. Um, that was not really like explicitly out there, but a few friends pinged me around and here I am. So yeah, um, it's definitely been hectic, um, but it's almost like what I signed up for. Um, it's definitely like, like the startup, like, you know, you, you hear from a lot of like people who works at like startups or, or as a attempt to cater to students, it's like, yeah, you're gonna be thrown into water. You're gonna be, you're gonna have to swim on your own. I definitely got that kind of feeling here but that's exactly what I signed up for. Um, the kind of stuff that um, I'm kind of responsible for and the trust that my team has given for me to do it, I think is just very like rare as an intern. And that is just something that is really breathtaking. Um, just to be able to work on stuff and being given that trust that you have to deliver or you can deliver. Um, sometimes there is stuff where we're low on bandwidth and I have to come in and help a little bit there. Um, just kind of like really feeling like you're part of the fight um, it's really rare as a student, you get to really feel that kind of impact. And so like that is one hell of a drive and feeling. Uh, it does at times get a little like, crazy in your head, but like, I guess this is what we came in for. So <laughs> I think um, students are very, my peers included, are very capable of preparing for uh, interviews and, and the such, and then, you know, really grinding uh, questions, you know, what to prepare that stuff. I think school provides a lot of great resources for that. But I think what I was very surprised at least joining Zero X was um, how much you had to be culturally in t attuned to the vision and the future and what Zero X or the open finance industry wants to do. And that is something that's a lot more off the books. Um, and that kind of uh, vibe, I think, is not just like, do I want to be a, at an internship position at a blockchain company? But more so could be a question of asking, do I want to be in the blockchain community, uh, period. And I think it's more a matter of, is this what you want versus how do I prepare best for this? Because I think if you want it, I think this space will be more than happy to take you in, um, dependent to what skill sets you have. Fun fact. Um, so I'm a, I'm a huge design nerd. Um, I love front-end development, um, UI, UX work, but uh, before that, I'm still just like a designer before the blockchain stuff. So I have this weird ability that I'm 
proud of, but really I, I shouldn't be, but like I could recognize fonts in the wild. Like I could walk down the street, I could see a store sign, and I could guess with like 80% accuracy what font it is. I have to train the skill every few months, but like I could guess most fonts now. <laughs> and that is the weird, like I don't know, like I'm very proud of it. But yeah, um, it's a good, it's a good bar story. That's <laughs> huge shout out, I guess, to one person, one of my closest friends, uh, David Kabrowski. He recommended me to Zach Skelly, which is eventually why I sit here. Um, big friend of mine, uh, one of my best friends. Uh, big shout out to him. And he's also hustling in this uh, industry as well in his own ways. So yeah. <laughs>